able to also you can basically tell when they are and aren't singing from the waveform. Uh, that's then of course that line's done. So then you go on to the next line. And again just pick a spot, grab it. Again you wanna look at your line down here, make sure you're not grabbing too much of the line and shorten this. Uh, just hover your mouse over it and left click and you can drag it. specific than that. I won't do the whole song now because that'll just take forever. So now we'll skip to the karaoke timing tutorial. Uh, uh, you might want to change that default to something and how you change that by double clicking on this S up here. Change that, you can make that uh, choose, I like to go with Arial Black myself, it's a big font, I might like to make it 25. Uh, what you do for primary and secondary colours is up to you. I'll go with orange and... Right. Go with blue and orange. And again, this is just me, so there we go. Uh, if you want it bold, there's your tick boxes here to make it however you wish. These, I'll show you what the colours do. They're for karaoke. Oh, I'll make, I'll make that 40, so it's seeable. Uh, of course, your outline and your shadow these ones here are all relative to the text. So yeah, out ch change the size of your outline. You go there. Might want a big outline. Uh, also, just changing the number won't do anything. You have to change the number and click apply. Or shadow. You might want to bright yellow shadow, it's up to you, the shadow, make it, that's the shadow is not so much the size as the distance from the original object. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those, isn't that pretty? Um, left margins, that's how far you want it to the left, put it to 20, it'll move that way. Put it to 790, it'll go off the screen. Uh, make it 70. Anyway, we'll put that back to whatever it was, 0, 0, 1, 0. Also, you've got your alignment box here. Right now it's aligned to center bottom. You can align it to left bottom, center left, top left. You know, that's all pretty self-explanatory. Also, if you want somewhere more specific, you can just double click and it will move there. I'm just undoing that by pressing Ctrl Z. Uh, not that that's as far as it wants to go. Also, here it adjusts the position. You want to get rid of that and put it back to its default position. Highlight that, delete, Ctrl Enter, and it's back to where it should be. Now, on with the karaoke. 
Now, how they're singing this is... Wah. You go split. So, wah, ka. Now let's hear it again. What can I say? Uh, uh, you can click, left click and hold and drag with these with the mouse, which I personally find more precise, or you can hit the plus and minus keys on your keypad to move to the next syllable, just hit the arrow keys. Obviously you don't want that there, so... Oops. So just hit the Q word. We only want the wa to appear on the wa sound and the cut to appear on the cut sound. that to be a fair bit back, that's about there. Actually, zoom right in on this. Might even be right about there. That'll do me for now, so we don't want to go to the next line this time, so control, enter, double click to take that to the beginning, and hit play. Uh, I would like it if AGSub had a slow down feature. So you could watch it in slow-mo to make sure your timings are perfect. Uh, you can also just come up here and hit that with the mouse. Or hit R as it as you can see there. Hang on, as you can see there, play current line, R. Excuse me. Then just do the same line for each line after the same thing for each line after that. Uh, here you're going to want to split everything. Japanese is very good to split because it's a syllabic language. Uh, except in cases like this, N is its own syllable, so you want to hear the line. So in this case, they're actually saying that they're not saying nen door, they're saying neten door. So you want to uh, split to M, so neten door matsu ni, ni's already split itself. N uh, how are they saying that? Come up here, find out how they're saying that. So now they're saying na ah, uh, 